In this week's AMT Fresh Market Overview, we discuss the likely impact of Black Friday on market demand and we're also very excited to welcome a new partner, Nile Marketplace, to the AMT Fresh Market Overviews with the aim of bringing more relevant information to you out there. All in this week's episode, so make sure to stay tuned. This outlook is made possible by Standard Bank that plays a crucial role across the full agribusiness value chain from what happens on the farm and beyond the farm gate right up to when the farm's product reaches the retailer shelves. Because of this, they understand the full agricultural ecosystem and the trends and risks across the sector and they're able to give guidance on the right finance, insurance and working capital solutions at every stage. Standard Bank, it can be. I'm Johnny van der Merwe and welcome to this week's Fresh Market Overview made possible by Standard Bank and Nile Marketplace. The latest economic indicators are as follows. The Rand dollar exchange rate strengthened to 15 Rand 37 while the Brent crude oil price stayed in its upward trend since the start of the month on $46.57 per barrel. But with that said, let's see what happened to the latest vegetable prices the past week. We're approaching Black Friday, which is expected to have a negative effect on the markets as consumers in general tend to focus more on electronic and liquor specials over this period. We therefore expect demand to remain very weak on the markets this week. The potato price traded 14% lower than last week on 51 rand 55 per 10 kg bag, with higher supply levels still driving this price downward. Volumes are likely to be lower this week with many producers reporting lower yields than normal. But limited demand can result in prices to trade sideways rather than up. Quality however remains an issue for producers in this market. The tomato price decreased by 14% to 7.39 last week with the northern production areas coming strong into the markets at the moment resulting in volumes to increase by 34% week on week. Volumes will most likely remain constant this week with no real significant price movements also expected for the coming week. However, sporadic rainfall in major production areas remains the biggest concern for this market at the moment. The carrot price decreased last week to 324 per kilogram with higher volumes forcing these prices down. The continued lower demand this week, coupled with slightly higher volumes, may put downward pressure on this price again. But there is still a shortage in the market, keeping prices 15% higher than last year at the same time. The onion price remained stable the past week on 395 per kilogram. The expectation is still that volumes will most likely increase because of the Northern Cape production areas that is coming strong into the markets at the moment, most likely keeping prices trending downward. Other vegetable prices traded as follows. Cabbages on 1 rand 89, garlic on 35 rand 84, spinach on 1 rand 64, sweet potatoes on 8 rand 25, and the pepper price trading 32% lower on 7 rand and 5 cents per kilogram last week. This segment was made possible by Nile Marketplace, aiming to use technology to make nutritious food available across the continent and beyond in a safe, easy, and transparent way. Check out their website now. Looking into the fruit market, the past Monday was considered as one of the most quiet Mondays in terms of demand, which can partly be blamed on Black Friday at demand, pulling demand away from the fresh markets. Last week, banana prices decreased by 14% to 7.34 with higher volumes putting pressure on this price. Banana volumes are steady for the moment, meaning prices can trend sideways this week. Apple and pear prices increased on the back of low volumes last week to 8.58 and 10.66 respectively. Weak demand this week can result in these prices to trend sideways. Although orange volumes decreased again last week, the price also decreased by 6% to 6.73 with quality red that remains an issue for this market. 
The avocado price remained stable last week on 28 rand 47 per kilogram due to very limited demand, but very low volumes and high quality will keep these prices supported. As expected, higher table grape volumes last week resulted in the price to decrease by 25% to 58 rand 74 per kilogram. Volumes are still 61% lower than last year at the same time, with prices currently 89% higher due to the late production season. Expect these prices to remain in a downward trend over the coming few weeks. The mango price traded on 17 rand 33 last week, but can come under pressure as more volumes are likely to enter into the market very soon. Other fruit prices traded as follows. Pineapples on 10 rand 77, peaches on 18 rand 90, lemons on 7 rand 61, and the latest blueberry price on 35 rand 90 per kilogram last week. Next week, we will again look into the latest prices on the vegetable and fruit markets of South Africa as we move closer towards the festive season. This is of course all made possible by Standard Bank and Nile Marketplace. I'm Johnny van der Merwe and thank you for watching.